Hello and welcome in. My name is Drumroll Tony. I'm a streamer on Twitch, musician, and music teacher living in Seattle. More music from Persona 3 Reload today. It was recommended that I check out Changing Seasons. So that's what we're going to do. I'm excited. Let's go. And the brass too. All right, the groove, the grooves in these are so good. We'll get to it. Let's talk about this, the, how they build this. And damn, man, the bass lines of Persona uh, 3 Reload stuff have been really nice so far. Okay, so we have this tension in the beginning between like piano and voice lines in real simple drum stuff. Like it's so spatial, but it sets it up perfectly. Let's check it out again. The voice, I can't sing it. Oh, way up there. Versus the da 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 dee da da. It's like a voice on the keyboard patch, but there's there's like harmony there. But I feel like there's just a tiny bit of dissonance and it's ringing really well and it's super repetitive, but there's so much space between everything that you know. So, well, I was guessing, I was like, oh, please give us some bass stuff, but it really sets us up really well. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And that's big. Bon, that keyboard quarters is printed. It's just like, it's just there. It's lingering. Oh, I didn't even notice the boom. Whoa way up there with the vibrato okay 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 bass player comes in but it's more about the drum change there. the percussion change is what it is because the bass player is playing the long tones but that's when i started guessing i was like oh please give us those funky electric bass lines because i think the way they eq it and the, the note style choices are super fun, but obviously the drum part here becoming way more active to bring you in. You still have all the layering from before that tension, the like tiny bit of distance. It's all still there in the background, but the addition of the bass and the percussion groove change, obviously it's setting us up. Two more. The window is now opening. Bring in the funk, baby. Oh my god because now the keyboard chords change the progression we're still in the same key and everything but the way the voices are going are moving and then the bass player gets to dig in and play some great stuff and it just sounds so good but all those previous layers that that have not changed right there are still there you're getting the same effect you know it's a really good line though oh you know what there's some variations in, in the kick drum part of the progression stuff okay let's see where this goes so groovy that is so groovy the vocal line there is pretty much inaudible but I've, i'm aware of why why it's mixed the way it is for the purpose of the game etc yada 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 we've talked that to death in three other videos but i mean you just have to select the perspective that you want to view that as like is it a musical perspective it'd be like why is that so low but if you're just like it's just there to be the sound and just kind of be drowned out in in the middle then you're good to go so just pick what stance you want on that and then just take it in but i mean for me, it's the keyboard part. It's so funky. It has kind of like a Stevie Wonder feel going on. Uh, I just kind of get lost in the sauce of that, and I'm not really concerned about what's going on vocally because the rhythm section is having so much fun with what they get to play, and it's just a good time. But just listen down to the keyboard part. <laughs> I don't mean that bunch dun, dun, not that keyboard part I mean the funky the funky keyboard part that is some good stuff man I don't know 
why i'm so partial to like funk lines like this like i get a lot of jam sessions and sometimes you know like those of you musicians you know what jam sessions are like sometimes it's cool and a lot of times it's not because you know like it like it just depends on who's who's it just depends when you get up there like who are you with and what 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 is everyone's ideas that kind of happen on the spot but generally it turns into some like kind of funk jam and inevitably you know like it gets it's played out it's kind of long but like the best times though is when things are super simple they're in the pocket and they get aggressive and it's you know you just you get something like this where the chords are nice and you know you can just jam out to it like you you hope for something like this to happen so this is a fun listen for me I mean, I don't know. If, I don't know if it's real or if it's DAW, whatever. But it sounds cool, though. I like forgot to talk about the brass components of this section. It was, it's cool to hear the backgrounds going on. But uh, whoever the lead player is, if they're real and they're not written on a DAW, they're screaming there. That's good stuff. Interesting midline versus it. Oh man. Okay. Dude, this is the best. This is the best. This is totally Stevie Wonder, man. Let's go. Again, I like the dropout part. That figure, that is so syncopated and groovy because you just repeat that. That, the gat, the geet, the gat, the gat, the gat, instead of thinking, uh, two, three, four, uh, like so, like within that box. If you just play that, you just step out and, man, it just grooves, in my opinion, it just grooves so hard. Well, you do have, I guess, boom, boom, bump. So it's not so far over the bar line. We we get that the reset, the quarter notes on three and four in each on the second bar each time. But still, whatever. It's still a great little syncopated rhythm. I love it. Now we're up an octave. Okay, cool. cool it feels like you know it feels like you know a vocal patch in the keyboard but when you put it up the register up at like higher than the previous one we heard in the beginning it felt more like you know it's kind of voicey but also kind of like fluty does that make sense it works though man and it's a little bit of variety so you know it's something it's it's the same it's pretty much the same figure obviously but at least there's like an, a register change so we get some variety there <laughs> voice was significantly on top much much more dynamic and pre present than the voice we have here that was cool the flow of it the, del the delivery was really nice let's go back and grab that again ba -ba -doo -dwee -dwee. it's super nice <laughs> comes back cool so questions for y'all that play the game what what is like this is it says here updated version what what's different compared to the not updated version and what's happening what are you playing like changing seasons what's going on like i mean obviously the name kind of sounds obligatory you know it's like kind of obvious but is it legitimately seasons in the game that are changing stuff's going on like when do you hear this So this feels like a loop. You hear that lead player just she had it up there. I'm telling you, man. Yeah, we're leaving out there. It's all good though. It's fun to listen to. And there it goes. Oh, that's a little variation. 
pushing down the hi-hat pattern though oh that was taking us somewhere else that's cool we didn't really have that present earlier in the, in the track so there it is uh yeah let me know what's going on for that one uh it, that's like it's such a super simple groove like music like well remember music does not need to be hard to be good like but i'm i'm pretty partial to like you know kind of funk in the pocket groove so when i hear something like this i'm gonna like it more than other things so i guess i'm kind of biased there even though i don't have any context bias to the game i do have context bias or just genre bias to styles of music so there it is all right let me know okay i'll see you on the next one soon Bye bye